Health Minister James P. K. Sangma on Tuesday told the House on the third day of the ongoing autumn session of the State Assembly that 50 acres of land have been allotted at New Shillong Township to construct the Shillong Medical College. Replying to a question raised by North Shillong MLA Edelbert Nongrum during the question R, Sangma said that the government is looking to also include a 100-bedded hospital along with the medical college and hostel facilities. He added that the government is exploring new modalities of implementation including better terms of public-private partnership and the possibility of seeking support from the Department of Economic Affairs the Niti Ayok Government of India. Sir, <coughs> the project uh, for construction of Shillong Medical College is under active consideration. The government is exploring to new modalities of implementation including better terms of PPP and the possibility of seeking support from DEA, Niti Ayok Government of India. And I would like to on, uh, inform the Honourable Member and also the other members of this August House that the Honourable Chief Minister has been kind to uh, provide us an alternative plot of land which is to the tune of 50 acres and uh, we're looking at this bigger plot of land so that it can also um, include uh, not just the, hosp uh, the hostel facilities but a uh, hundred bedded hospital or maybe bigger than that along with the medical college to go along with that project so it becomes a more comprehensive and holistic project. Earlier, Nongrum wanted to know the status of the medical college at RPHS Hospital in Mauba, to which Sangma said that the location had lots of complications that included a narrow approach road to the site, a congested neighbourhood, adding that there are certain guidelines under the National Medical Commission which in one way disqualify this location to be considered for the Shillong Medical College. I don't want to criticise the government. But just imagine, honorable members, we are being sending here by the mandate of the people. This is the need of the hour. This is the need of our youth. May, 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 uh, may I get more information from honorable minister whether the site that we're going to propose this project, whether it will be in the same or maybe you have some other <coughs> mind. Camp, the location at Moba TB Hospital, that's the RP uh, uh, Chest Hospital, was under active consideration to be the site where we would have the Shillong Medical College. But, uh, however, sir, uh, that particular location has a lot of complications, uh, namely, sir, since the Honorable Member would like to know. So, number one is the approach road to that uh, particular site. It's very narrow and uh, would uh, you know, become a, a problem in the future. And secondly, sir, it's a very congested area, uh, again, which would also affect the functioning of the medical college. And sir, um, there are certain guidelines under the NMC, uh, which um, uh, in one way, sir, uh, disqualified this location to be considered for the Shillong Medical College. Sir. And uh, as I said, sir, we as a government must look at how the Shillong Medical College, once it is established, becomes a viable project and doesn't become a white elephant and uh, doesn't end up uh, as a loss to the state exchequer. That's why, sir, due diligence is being done to ensure that um, when we do this project, it is done in a proper manner. To a supplementary question raised by Umroy MLA George P. Lingdo on the timeline to complete the project at New Shillong Township, the Health Minister said he could not give a specific deadline or timeline for the completion but maintained that the government is trying to expedite the process in every possible way. So that is something that there is a due process, so we will be following due process. Uh, we are trying to expedite in every possible way. As I said, uh, we have been able to identify the land, which is, I think, uh, one of the biggest hurdles in uh, having a project of this magnitude, uh, you know, uh, to uh, be completed, sir. So, um, to reply to the honourable member, sir, there is, um, you know, I can't give a specific timeline or deadline, but all I'd like to tell the honourable member is that we are working expeditiously, sir. 
To another question on the reasons for cancelling the MOU signed with the previous partner, Sangma informed the House that there were several factors that led to the cancellation of the MOU and the land, lease period and fee structures being a few of them. There were various reasons uh, the concessioner had asked for changes to the agreement, sir. But um, yes, maybe the land, no, uh, not maybe, sir, the land was part of uh, one of the, uh, you know, points of disagreement, sir, that they wanted additional land. Um, the other point was uh, that they wanted, instead of a 30-year lease, they wanted the lease period to be uh, extended to 99 years, sir. And uh, so thirdly, very importantly, which is I think very relevant here, is that they wanted the fee structure to also be changed. They wanted to increase the fees, sir.